All right, guys, let's keep moving. Hit the power nexus. We need to get to the prison before Jenica does. <clears throat> Speak of the devil. If Larias is right about Corypheus, we're going to have to hurry. Do not touch anything. The old defenses are active again. Very unpredictable, very dangerous. There! That's the one Janica wants dead. How many of you are there? I thought I dealt with you already. We may die here, but we will take you with us. No! Don't! To arms! And pray that Corypheus honors our sacrifice! You guys really are stupid, you know that? <clears throat> Trapped. Carter fools always where they don't belong. This shouldn't have happened. Don't worry. We'll find a way out. Yes. Yes. Think. There must be a way. I was here once before, a long time ago. Yeah. The magic, uh, the magic flows in streams. They must be joined for the way to open. Yes, yes, that's it. All right, <clears throat> we got the... <laughs> These pillars, we need to rotate them in order to connect the magic stream to a certain point. There we go. Did I do this puzzle right? Hmm. So we're taking the crazy ghoul at his word. Sounds like fun. Come on, rotate. Wardens or not, we have to stop them. It worked. There we go. Quickly. And I've just noticed I can level up. Better keep moving. Can't let Jenica get ahead of us. And more Carta.
What's this way? Hmm. Ooh, a chest. Varric, if you would. Nothing good. Change of course. Always stopping to examine the carvings. A learned man. What was that? Anyway, I should level up Varric. He needs health and badly. Let's keep moving forward. You spend enough time dawdling already. And there's a barrier. Great. Need to go the other way. Oh my gosh, open the door. Did you really think those old wards would stop me? Look at you, barely able to string two thoughts together. You've only made it this far because of Hawk. You can still turn away. Do not listen to his voice. You're a fool, Arias, and you should have died here years ago. Darn fool. Take care of the other guys first. These, uh, these arcane cars. Alright, they took care of the Revenant. And Anders leveled up. Nice. Moving. Hmm. There it is, guys. Prison Tower. Hmm. That image. That's the magisters that became the first dark spawn. so nice about it I was just wondering what someplace sinister and foreboding would look like and here it is I don't even know how to respond to that you're too late Larias hand over Hawk and I'll give you a quick death. Hawk has made his choice. 
The right one. The right choice or the only choice? Malcolm Hawk was not allowed to disagree. It is the past. It doesn't matter. Larias? What does Janica mean by not allowed? How does she know this? Alec, did you tell her? Malcolm Hawk was reluctant. Had to be persuaded. I was Warden Commander. It was my duty. I delivered an ultimatum. Help us, or you'll never see her again. You threatened father. You were going to kill our mother. No, never. He came with us. I never had to decide her fate. She was never told about what passed between Malcolm and me. That doesn't make it better. You see, Hawk, how can you trust anything Larias says? Larias's threats were reprehensible, but he's still right about Corypheus. You can come willingly or not, Hawk. I just need your blood. You're mad, you know that? Mad. Guess they didn't need to use that one. him now before he wakes, before his strength comes. The key, it's not strong enough. Use your blood, free him and slay him. Okay, just let me gather up this loot. Ah, oh, she didn't leave anything? Weak. Alright, there are four pillars here. Look, Need to hit look, each one it, Just three more to go. It, before you can um you, before you can um fully release the seal. Probably not. He's almost free now. You feel that? It's like something is lifting. I wake from? Am I in dwarven lands? Why see no roads so empty? You serve you at the Temple of Dumat? Bring me hence. I must speak with the first acolyte. Dumat was the first old god to become an archdemon. There haven't been temples to him since ancient of winter you look human are you not citizens of the empire slaves then to the dwarves why come you here whoever you be 
You owe fealty to any Magister of Tevintar. On your knees. All of you. The Free Marches haven't been part of the Imperium for 600 years. You are what held me. I smell the blood in you. You mad? Lord, tell me, what waking dream is this? The light. We sought the golden light. You offered the power of the gods themselves. But it was black. The Magisters who brought the Blight. That's ridiculous. There were no magical boogeymen who trespassed in the Maker's City. It's a story. It's Chantry propaganda. Where do you think Darkspawn came from? Some creation of the old gods, no doubt. Dumat, have you forsaken me? I am your faithful servant. The Darkspawn aren't just some conveniently explicit lesson on the dangers of magic. Where do you think Darkspawn came Harry from? Asses. Some create Dumat. The Darkspawn aren't just some conveniently explicit lesson on the dangers of magic. Unless Corypheus is for real, everyone who knows what happened is long dead. You don't think it's a little convenient? What does every sane man and woman in Thedas fear? The Blights. Why not pin those on mages too? What manner of speech is this? How long have I slumbered? He tainted the world. He speaks to all who carry the corruption. Darkspawn wardens. He brought Janica here. Brought you. If he's been calling the wardens to free him, what's his plan? He seems confused. He slept. While the seals held, he could not wake. He knows nothing of time that passed. We must kill him now, before he comes to. You really think he's one of the original Magisters? That he's been to the Black City? The city! It was supposed to be golden! It was supposed to be ours! If I cannot leave with you, I will leave through you. I seek the light. I made your sacrifice. Alright guys, this is Corypheus, one of the original magisters that 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 entered the Golden City and tainted it with sin. One of the original magisters that became the first dark spawn. There, it, there are four phases to this fight, well, four stages. After you deal a bit of damage, he will teleport to the middle of the ring and and take power from one of the from one of the statues. You'll want to move all the way to one side, and you'll begin using a specific element: fire, w ice, e um, earth, electricity, etc. You want to go to each pillar and and release it and destroy the shades that guard it. By doing this you weaken his power and and once all containment pillars are de are deactivated he, um, he will come back and, and you can and you can kill him then. We'll keep killing him. The first element he gets is fire, and that may, and that and that allows him to shoot streams of ro uh, of fire while rotating. Now 
Once you um, release all the pillars and, and kill all the pillar guardians, he, he should come down from his perch. Just keep wailing on him until he goes for another statue. Alright, I believe this is the earth element. He will create um, obstacles on the ground that will make it um, difficult to maneuver. On top of that, he keeps the fire, but um, he keeps the rotating wheel of fire. So you'll have to watch out for that as well. Also, try not to touch the rocks because they, because they can hurt you. Alright, to the next pillar. Let's make sure all our crew gets up over here safe and sound. Don't want any of them dying on me. The first time I did the Legacy DLC, um, it, and I got to the Corypheus boss fight, it, um, it, um, several members of my crew, two of my, um, crew, um, ended up dying, and it, and the only ones to fit, that were, that were able to, that were there to fit, ugh that were there to face Corypheus was Hawk, was Hawk and Bethany. Kind of, it, it was kind of like a symbol. It was kind of symbolic in a way because it was bit. It was um the two children of Hawk versus some, a creature that Hawk kept that Malcolm um, uh, versus a creature that Malcolm sealed away. And now here comes Griffius um, to to take out to take on a another beating. It's round three of your ass whooping. Ouch! And he teleported across the room. I believe that one is his next one, I don't know. About to find out. No bits of electricity. The electricity one um, to, um, blocks off some of the paths that the... Okay, no, it's ice. No wait, he got both ice and electricity. That's cheap. Um, the the ice will send um, um, stalactites falling at you, while electricity will block off several of the um, paths that um, in the rocks, me, me, making it only one path available. And Varric, get out! Of, get out from there! It's not safe when there's fiery streams coming. Come on, guys, quickly get in. Watch out. There's lightning in the room. I notice. How is that even possible? Rocks can't even conduct lightning unless it's metal. Unless there's metal in those rocks, it's not going to conduct any electricity. And Barrick.
And now here he comes for chapter four of his ass whooping. Ice puns do not fit you. Once again, he teleported across the room, and it's time to continue wailing on his ass. It's almost done. That was a bit of an anticlimactic finisher. Let's see what Ludi has. Chest play of the fours. Seal of Dumont. No one's used that pattern since before the first blight. It was unique to a small sect in Devinta, who worshipped the god Dumat. Corypheus really was an ancient magister. I always thought the Black City was just a story. Maybe the Chantry's right about other things, too. I, uh, I I'll need to study this further. Indeed, you'll need to. We did it, guys. Corypheus is dead. You did well, Hawk. More than the Grey Wardens of old were able to accomplish. I will tell the Warden Commander of your service here. I don't think we're supposed to come back from the calling. I must try. You've gained an ally today. Why are you talking like that? My head is clear now. Without Corypheus's call, I can think again. I thank you for my freedom. The Wardens won't thank me for the deaths of their own. Janica ignored the Warden Commander's express orders when she sought to free Corypheus. They'll be relieved she's gone. The prison stands no more. My gratitude you have for my freedom. I said you wouldn't believe me. When the Seekers arrived at the structure, this prison, it was destroyed. The Grey Wardens were there, but they did not mention this Lorias. They claimed everyone was dead. And now you claim the Champion was not only there, but defeated a Magister. One of the Magisters of old. Left there by the Wardens themselves. A curious tale. I wonder if there's more to it. A small matter. A moment for the last of the family. And an echo. You'll forgive me if I take a liberty or two. It's amazing how the past haunts us. All this hardship because of what happened so many years ago. There was a big risk to take without Mother's consent. Tempting the Blight is apparently a theme for our family. One glorious day we'll learn to leave well enough alone. It gets harder every year to remember what Father was like. I thought he knew everything. You know, as much as he had to spend time training me, he was so proud of you and Carver, his little soldiers. What he'd think now, I don't know. I'd have loved to talk to Mother about this, about Father. I still can't believe she's gone. I wish. Well, perhaps it doesn't matter. Thank you for taking care of everything, brother.
Malcolm would be happy you two aren't at each other's throats. Not all the time. He sacrificed so we would have a life free to choose. Must have been a terrible burden. Much like the burden you've assumed. I do what I can. Sometimes it doesn't seem like enough. You know, your father tried to help people the same way. Tried to fix trouble he saw in others. The best of him is still with you. The best of all of us. It's what makes you try so hard. You will always have that. We will always be family. It'll be all right.